a man knows what a man needs. <laughs> Just a man understands what a man music needs. And I said, well, I'm... I'm sorry what I really want to do, so she took me to Quincy Jones, home Quincy Jones, got new ruler did, and his most memorable film was what six stages of set up sex rings in Hollywood. Hello people, it seems like Jamie Foxx has bound on the no holds bar train spilling some significant tea in Hollywood recently. He's been tossing conceal left and right, and his most recent objective seems by all accounts to be in all honesty the Cherished Will Smith, yes, you heard that right, the new ruler himself. The word on the road is that Jamie Foxx is getting down on Will Smith for purportedly having a long history of abusing youthful entertainers. I realize it sounds totally wild since come on it's Will Smith, the person we as a whole know and love yet. As per the gray plant, the enchanting persona may very well be a front and in the background. He could be something else altogether. And here's where things get much really fascinating to Hypothesis about Smith's affiliations, he's mates for certain dubious figures like P. Diddy, who's had his reasonable portion of claims, so the hypothesis goes assuming you're moving with somebody like that, who understands what sort of energies you're putting out into the world. Now the copying. Question, who are these youthful entertainers that will Smith evidently abused all around we should dive into the succulent subtleties and see what this Hollywood show is pretty much okay, so we as a whole know what. L. Smith. The person who's no more odd to standing out as truly newsworthy whether it's for his work in media outlets or for some surprising turn in his own life, this Grammy grant winning entertainer filmmaker and rapper generally figures out how to keep the virtual entertainment news feed humming. And we should be genuine who doesn't cherish a touch of VIP discussion currently, how about we jump into the tattle pool, there have been these continuous murmurs regarding Wills, and sometime back he became. I'm involved with gossipy tidbits about dating his male co-star Dwayne Martin back in November 2023. A previous companion and colleague of Smith Bale spilled some significant tea during a meeting with YouTuber Tasha Kay as per Bale he strolled in on Will Smith and Dwayne Martin. Getting dependent upon a few grown-up exercises in Martin's changing area and the dramatization doesn't stop there bits of hearsay likewise circle that Will's association with Dwayne Martin could play had an influence in the Separation of Tisha Campbell and Dwayne. Wow, right yet, stand by. There's more YouTube sensation. Trisha Piss chose to add her feedback blaming Will Smith for purportedly making her male artists accomplish other thing than simply dance as Patricia. These artists wound up in a few truly awkward circumstances despite their desire to the contrary. Now the situation starts to get interesting when we rewind to 2016, the late entertainer Alexis Arquette guaranteed that Will Smith's ex Sheer Zampino separate. Ted from him since she got Will in bed with one more man as per day-to-day -day mail. Arquette spilled the tea in a now-erased Facebook post indicating that Jada Pinkett Smith could have her very own account to tell in the expressions of Alexis when Jada emerges as gay and her whiskery spouse concedes his. Most memorable marriage finished when she strolled into him overhauling his friendly benefactor Benny Medina. Then I will pay attention to them. That's right, that is some weighty tattle not too far off. And we should not disregard Will's manly relationship with Diddy. But rather, here's the kicker bits of gossip have been twirling for quite a long time about Diddy's sex Diddy's previous guardian, Gene, is known for dropping stunners about Diddy's life as per Gene Diddy once gave him a definitive Entryway obligation, Eugene watched the entryway. Don't allow no one to come through here. Little did Jean realize he'd observer Diddy and another man making a quick butt exit. That's right. You heard that right. Jean claims he saw it with his own eyes. Do all of you review the 2022 Foundation grants when Will Smith suddenly raged the stage and smacked Chris Rock well? Think about who dove in to make all the difference. As a matter of fact, Diddy he attempted to chill things off and caught it to appear to be all chill and Chris, we will tackle that like family at the gold party, okay? Yet this moment we're continuing on with affection. Everyone makes some clamor yet presently the grape plant is humming with tail. That their relationship may be something other than a manly relationship word on the road is they may be associated with some obscure stuff like what went down with Bry Share Dark. How about we do a speedy overview on the secret encompassing B.R. Shars vanishing from the scene recollect when he was shaking it on domain, and everybody thought he was on the quick track to super fame post-realm well. 
Here's the tea diverts out his exit from the business wasn't precisely by decision. The talk factory is hate. Umming with murmurs that Bry Shear sought the old renounced treatment from. In all honesty, will Smith and Diddy why you ask well clearly Bry Shear asked for from their supposed oddity offs and that didn't sit excessively well with the huge names so prompt the results and enter the counterbalance. Culture Poof Brer was of the business quicker than you can say Hollywood dramatization now, assuming you're thinking about how he got into this wreck in any case. Let me spread it out for you back in his hand. I school days. Briar encountered Charlie Mack and Ability Director Specialist Charlie being the performer he has caught Bry Shear a tryout for Domain, and the buddy aced it handling the job quick forward to Hollywood, with Charlie playing chief and directing Bry Shear through the business laboring. Here's the kicker, Charlie wasn't any supervisor. He was the fitting he had associations that could blow your mind connecting Bry Shear with the big cheeses in Tinseltown, including, as a matter of fact, with L. Smith, so Will and Brer hit it off like a house ablaze every step of the way. And could you at any point fault them? I mean, Briar was on realm, and Will was a wide range of dazzled, so normally a mentorship dynamic kicked in, causing it to seem like the fantasy group in the making. I mean, who would have zero desire to be guided by the new sovereign himself right now? This sounds like an awesome deal on paper. Yet you know how the maxim goes not all that sparkles is gold, so after Diddy and Will suppose. Bly snagged Bry share into these oddity offs promising to support his vocation consequently after a couple of rounds of this unequivocal way of life Br share had enough and quit viewing everything as a lot to deal with now here's where the situation starts to get interesting Briar's choice to limit any association with Diddy and Will came just before Domain wrapped up leaving him jobless post realm Briar's life experienced a plunge and at first it seemed like he probably won't have taken care of his distinction, well yet the genuine kicker, is the supposed aftermath with Diddy and Will, who as per reports were enraged that Bry Shear thought for even a second to leave supposedly they didn't take kind Blade L to his flight, and probably made some things happen to boycott him from the business. Recall how Cassie spilled the tea about Diddy undermining her vocation when she attempted to leave Well in the event that the tales are to be accepted Bry Shear confronted a comparable destiny, supposedly. Diddy and Will demolished his vocation as a type of retribution, and there are even murmurs that they supposedly used dangers to keep him quiet at any point asked why Bree Shear's vocation didn't take off in spite of having elite tutors like Will Smith and Diddy Well the bits of hearsay recommend. They may be the ones who Edley removed him from the spotlight in any case, good so after the domain section shut Briar chose to dunk his toes into the music scene, dropping a few tracks that built up some fun. Reward momentum. There were even designs for a visit underway, however. At that point out of nowhere, things experienced a plunge airplay dwindled tryout callbacks, evaporated, and he ended up removed from the business it resembled running into a stopping point, and the entire difficulty negatively. Affected Briar's psychological prosperity, the once calm person who came to LA with dreams was currently an alternate variant of himself the descending twisting, didn't stop there, Brer began wrestling with loft. Old difficulties, and in July 2020, an upsetting episode unfurled a lady ran into the roads looking for help, professing to be Bry Shear's significant other. She claimed that he had been forceful putting his hands on her, and in any event, stifling her until she dropped by her the showdown. Was ignited by allegations of disloyalty, this legitimate tempest landed B.R. Share with major accusations, crime, bothered attack, misdeed attack, and jumbled wrongdoing. He, in the end, took a blameworthy request for the ag. Aggressive behavior at home charge, scoring a 10 day stretch in the district prison, and a three year probation sentence. Insiders are currently pointing fingers at Diddy and will guarantee they're purportedly the engineers of Briar's ruin as Briar allegedly hears more accounts of others venturing. Forward against Diddy, he's chosen to join the tune supposedly damaged by the reputed freak-offs he's standing up declaring that the fallout has tormented him for quite a long time and get this bits of gossip. Are saying that he is documented selling a whooping $50 million claim against Diddy. And will it appears as though Brer is prepared to take his story to the bleeding edge considering those he accepts answerable for his life's disentangling responsible now Brer isn't the solitary officer. Here why K.O.S.I.